Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover. Let's continue playing as United States of Greater Austria. So last time, our puppet called the Italian Republic declared war on the Socialist Republic of Italy. Because they were getting beaten pretty hard, beaten back pretty hard by two Sicilies. So they kind of dragged us into the war against the Third International. Go figure. And then I also declared war, I personally declared war against those bastards called the Ottoman Empire. Now they're alone, and for God's sakes, I hope they'll be forever alone and because of their own faction. Actually, can I get... I can do extensive conscription. Good. Finally. That's, yeah, that's, that's the word I wanted to say. So I did make sure that you guys are going to go ahead and garrison the coasts. Um, oh, I have some extra soldiers here. I did want to go to war with Denmark, too. Can I do that? Well, let's first get some political power so we can get some more manpower. That might be important. So let's go ahead. We have our tanks. They are doing a, I think, a good job. I hope they're doing a good job. I mean, look at our, our general here. Tank general's doing, I think, pretty good general overall. Uh, we're trying to see some enemy ships. The Bulgarian ships in here are going to get destroyed. Ooh, that's not good. But that's all right. That's just a distraction for us for now. Uh, let's see. Alpine region. Yeah, you're just doing... Not a lot. Uh, I suppose we could do the Adriatic. I, uh, how many ships does the Turks have? How many ships? Okay, I'm okay with that then. But they have only 23. We don't. Have, we have like 36 or something. I don't know, something like that. Cool. Hey, we sunk two convoys. Nice job, guys. Thanks for doing a great job. We're digging for resources. So we got eight more oil, which is great, and three more civilian factories. Good, good, good. Alright, military build-up scheme. Three more military factories would be good. Two more naval dockyards, industrial regions. Nice. That's good stuff to do. Mm, air experience, naval XP, naval stuff. Uh, Porta Vista would be good. Lure's offensive air plan. Strategic destruction, battlefield support. Well, we're running out of things really to do here on our focus tree. We already... We already bypass this, but that's okay. Uh, old friends in Bulgaria. Well, they're already our old friends. 70 days for armor. It's 1942. There is 1945 text. We don't have to do that one yet. Austria Dalmer would be nice. Uh, I guess we could use more military factories, I suppose. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just thinking right now. I was playing as Germany and Furreich again, just for old time's sake. Yeah, I, just, I gotta get used to playing as Austria again. <laughs> This playing as Germany just kicking some major butt. I just have, it's like 1939, September 1st, I've got like over 300 factories. And it's just loads of fun. Easy, not too difficult if you know what you're doing. Can be difficult though, if things go, just, if everything goes wrong. But, hopefully things won't, oh my god, oh the Ukrainians lost a few ships too, so. Well that's okay, I wasn't really counting on my puppets navies or my allies navies to do very much anyway. They just helped me weaken the Turkish, or the Ottoman uh, Empire's Navy, which is fine with me. That's really what I want them to do. How many ships do we have? Uh, 19... 20, 35. 35 ships. Very good. And we also, also have some naval bombers here, so we... I'm not really too concerned about that. Nice. Yeah, this battle's taking a while. How many divisions? I got 10 divisions here. That's a lot of guys. Yeah, this war's raging on pretty hard. I'm completely ignoring this. Oh, these Italians are definitely gonna lose here. That's totally fine with me. Oh, we're at war with Switzerland. That's right. That is right, 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 right. Yeah, uh, uh, let's finish this, these guys up first. Ooh, what happened here? Not much. Ooh, we sunk a dreadnought. Nice, good job, guys. And two more convoys. Good. Ooh, our ships have engaged. Two more convoys. Very nice. Still trying to desperately try to break through here. Totally fine. Uh, I'll take a few divisions. See if you can... Yemen, okay, is at war with us? That's, I guess, a huge deal. Not really. Okay, whatever. Um, I don't think that the Ukrainian boys could really do well here. Yeah, I'm not really seeing it. Not really seeing it, but... Yeah, that's probably not a good idea to attack. Wilhelm's in there. Yeah, you ain't got much there. Uh, how about you guys? Oh, they oh, they got a lot of forces. I really don't care for Switzerland. Germany can have Switzerland if they want. My goal, as someone commented, is to really take out the Turks. 
get at least a good portion of northern Italy given to my ally. And I really, I think ultimately I'm going to divide up Iberia into half. I want Gibraltar, of course. I, want, I need the Suez Canal, but of course Germany kind of owns that right now. So as long as I get Gibraltar and like half of Iberia, I'd be totally okay with that. All right, we're still fighting this battle. Wow, they are wearing down the tanks hard. Oh, and the Socialist Republic of Italy has gone. Nice. Good job, guys. Good, good, good. Good job. Take half, uh, take half you guys. You really don't need all you guys there. Or... That's not your territory now, is it? Huh. Well, they'll finish up those guys and we'll... Then we'll strike into the French lands. Is that German? That is German. Uh, don't do that just yet. Let's see, we'll just add you to this line right here. That'll be good. Yeah, just defend our borders. That'll be fine. The Germans have done a bang up job. My gosh, how much manpower do you have, Germany? Oh, militarist revival? You have 49 to 65 guys. We still have. Okay, you have more manpower than us. Oh, we had two. We literally just had two. Uh, militarist Revival. That sounds like it's under the military doctrine. Wow, 3% more population. Holy cow. And plus 20% more war support. What's your war support right now? That's still pretty good. Holy cow. Oh, our ships have engaged some, like some Egyptian or some other ships. Oh, we lost a destroyer. That's not good. How long has this battle been raging on? Let's see, we've lost 18,000. 6,000 men to the Turks. Oh, t oh. We have killed over 240,000 Ottomans just from us. Oh my goodness. We finally won the battle, which is great. That's why you gotta have tanks. You just gotta have them. There's no replacement for tanks. They're just so good. So I'm gonna try to make an encirclement here. So we're gonna cut down here, over here, and then hopefully take out this land bridge. But the Turks really like attacking. You can't tell. Uh, oh. Ooh, yeah, let's go ahead and liberate Norway. We did that last time, so that's good. We lost a few factories. That's okay. Totally, totally okay. Let's see. Ooh, they're the social conservative. So this guy. Divided Air Force. That's not good. Labor disputes. The Oslo Analyzer. Huh. Alright, cool. Very nice. You guys still have orders? Yep. Yeah, Garrison all this territory. That's good. That's very nice. Good job, boys. Uh, yeah. Good. All of you can be set over here. The French really want this territory. I really don't care about commune of France. I mean, the Germans can do with whatever they want to do with France and Switzerland. As long as I get portion, a good portion of northern Italy for my puppet and a good chunk of Spain. So I'm thinking, like, everything in the Mediterranean would fall under my jurisdiction, including Gibraltar. So, like, everything, like, down the middle or so. I mean, Germany can get Madrid, I suppose, or something like that. Because Portugal will be coming back to the Entente, regardless. However, so, I mean, as long as I get, like, the eastern coast, and then, of course, we'll probably have some sort of Cold War, which we'll have to fight out to make sure that we properly get all our territory. Oh, man, they got a ton of planes. Uh, do we have any more planes? Or, should I say, any good planes? Oh, well, we got some close air support. Oh, but we don't have any manpower. That doesn't even matter. Doesn't even freaking matter. Uh, ooh, you guys aren't doing very much. Fighters, fighters. Uh, I need to pull one of you guys off. Over here. That'd be better. Alright. So, once they're done attacking, we will do another maneuver course. God, I need more political power as fast as possible. Where's my other... Oh, they don't want to come in here because it would ruin the supply situation. Yeah, two Sicilies. Yeah, we'll have a non-Christian pact with you. Yeah, totally. Uh-oh. Oh, we lost another destroyer. Go ahead and repair. Oh, wait. They're in a battle right now. Well, you know what? I'm going to tell you guys to go repair it regardless, just because... Yeah, you don't really have. Go ahead and repair. Just go ahead and repair. Do not engage. Go ahead and repair. I don't want to lose too many ships. I mean, if, you know, I lose a few. You know, whatever. Oh, please. Oh, no. We're going to cancel our task to repair. Alright, so shut down a plane. That's good. Uh, are you guys moving at all? Like, 
It didn't look like you were moving. Well, let's hope they're moving. Yeah, it looks like they're moving. That's good. Okay, they are. As much as the enemy wants to kill my ships... <laughs> Do we have any spare tanks? Oh man, look at all this. Naval, CV naval bombers? Well, we don't need those yet. Heavy fighters, we'll get those in the future. Medium tanks, light tanks, uh... What? Um, yeah, I'm using 40 with medium tanks, yeah. This is not for a Reich. For a Reich, I was using some light tanks just because I didn't have the industry for it yet. Or the means to produce them. Let's see, infantry equipment. Hmm. That's good. I still have five divisions that I was going to add to Germany to help them out, but I don't think they need help anymore. I'm going to keep these five divisions separate, though, around Veen, just in case, you know, something might happen. Never know. That'll be good. Oh, Paris has fallen. Oh, okay, we're at war with Iran as well. We're at war with, with them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a non-aggression effect with the Germans sounds very good. Wow, they really want to kill themselves off, as well as my own equipment and manpower. Wow. Uh, how much manpower does do the Turks have? Oh, have. That's not good. Let's see. Ooh, it's sunk a cruiser. Very good. Very, very nice. Oh, they're out! Hey! Just like us guys. Hey, at least we can talk about something here. We have something in common. We're both out of manpower, but you have 81 divisions? Well, that's definitely less than I have. We're looking good. We're looking very good. We got a lot of puppet uh, divisions in the Ukraine. And I forgot about Russia. Yeah, Russia is actually our puppet as well. I could use a little bit more oil, though. Yes, please. Oh, God. I need a lot of steel. Ugh. Oh, that's a little bit. That's a, that's a little too many factories. Can I, oh, Sweden. Three factories for 280. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, I'm going to need more military, civilian factories actually. Let's do that. Ah, uh, Belarus, Belarusia. Yes, please. Now, what could you guys do down here with a little bit of extra gas against 12 divisions? Hmm. Maybe we'll win. Maybe we won't. Maybe we should have attacked Constantinople, but this doesn't have any forts, so that's good. And they're attacking us. Great. Yeah, that's good. What are the casualties like? Oh, we keep... Oh, we lost nine convoys. Oh, oh, oh. Am I... I'm trading through here. Uh, yeah. Trading. What am I... Uh... Trading? No. Oh, wait. Am I getting supplies? I'm getting supplies from... Ah, over here, my actual colony that gives me oil and rubber. Oh, that is not good. So at least I'm not really losing manpower because of that. So that's okay. That's, it could be worse. It could be much, much worse. Alright, I mean, we are definitely getting attacked pretty hard when we were doing really... Okay. We're doing very well in some locations. Awesome. Good job, tanks. Alright, let's go ahead and pause that. I kind of want to kick Constantinople out first, though. Just because we can. Just because I want to. Yeah. I think that would be great. Take half, take half and come down here so we can uh, an attack this way. Maybe we'll be able to win. I know they have forts, but it's only four divisions. Manpower loss. 26,000 is honestly not that bad. Especially against the Ottomans, we've lost 11,000. The Turks have lost approaching half a million. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, I don't really want to tell you to go too hard, so just go when you have optimal uh, time to strike. And then, we'll, of course, we'll have to focus very heavily on Switzerland. Very good, very good. And see. Yeah, this is, this is good. I don't really know why we're guarding down here, though. That's a little better. Yeah, that's better. Nice. Uh, and of course, let me guess. Romania? Or who, who can supply me with goodies? Oh, Sweden? Uh, Sweden? Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> a little bit less. It doesn't really affect me. Good. Oh, we're not doing super well over here. Take another infantry division. Help them out. Mm, four divisions. Cavalries. Horses. Lots of plane, that's okay. Happens. Alright. If we get Constantinople, that's what I really want. I really want to take Constantinople away from 
Turkey, just to say, eh, the Turks aren't European. Oh. That would be very, very good to say. Right, so we got that. I got a little more oil, I believe, or something like that. Some naval build-up scheme. Civilian factories, yeah, we could definitely use more civilian factories. Alright, the tank division was exhausted. The next tank division is going to be exhausted very soon, so let's go throw this boy in there. We can get, so we can get Constantinople. Actually, I've got these seven divisions. I want you down here in Constantinople. Uh, keep the infantry here for now. I know, I know everything's pretty bad. Go ahead and stay while we... have our fellow units come down and around. Oh god, please, don't move. I don't want to lose. Oh, Tsarigrad! Tsarigrad! So, we actually already renamed it. Nice. That's really cool. Alright. Alright, let's go ahead and reform our tanks. We will try to cause at least a small encirclement here, so we'll go down here to here. That'll be good. And actually, you are an island, so you're separate. Ega Adalari. Uh, seven convoys sunk. Very nice. I know I'm completely ignoring Switzerland and whatnot, but they're not a top priority. Wow, the Italian Republic's getting thick. But did 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 someone invade Russia? You invaded the UK, or I guess the Union of Britain. Why? No one is ready for that. <laughs> we gotta finish Spain. Why did you go that direction? You don't even have a port. I want to help you out, but... I mean... Why? Why? But why, though? Alright, my boys. Actually, you know what? I'm going to make sure that these seven Ukrainian divisions just have the only... The only goal is to just hold on to that. Come on, let's get one... One Ukrainian division in there. Good, alright, okay, so they can move. Go ahead, strike this way, if you can. Good, give, maybe give them a little more boost. How's our medium tanks looking? Oh, we got plenty to spare. Oh, we got plenty of stuff to spare, anyways. Awesome. Uh, one day sounds really good to me. It's 1942, everyone, by the way. So I think we're making excellent progress. Two, good, good, good. We could do this. But I think we'll be okay. Ooh, better mountaineers. That might be interesting to do. So I'm waiting for that. Industry is looking pretty okay. It's not great. Could use more resources. We're done with our land doctrine. Uh, we're done with artillery for now. Oh yeah, we're researching better supplies. Field hospitals uh, would probably be a good thing to do. I think I'm using field hospitals, aren't I? Yeah, I am. Well, I'm not sure. Well, what about naval doctrine? Mm, we could do better on that. We could do better on air, air doctrine as well. But ah, eh, screw it. Field hospitals are where it's at. Time for copy. Ah, oh. Lotar, have you uh, learning some traits, kind of. All right, push them out, push them out. Turks have lost quite a few guys, and we're very close. I'm keeping an eye on my PP, keeping an eye on my political power. So we're we're close. We're getting close. Uh, better mountaineers, screw it, why not? Oh, good, good job, guys. The last major push will be to this little area right here. Because once we kill these divisions through here and just try to take as much territory as possible. Alright. Uh, oh! Argentine Commie joined the Third International. <clears throat> Barcelona's fallen. Oh! Okay, so the Third International had to reform because the United States was destroyed, kind of. Oh no, did they... Did they div oh no, they divided it up already. Okay. Mexico, Central America is dying. What is this? Democratic Alliance of the Caribbean. All right. So third international includes Brazil, Argentine Commune, uh, Spain. What? Who's invading? <laughs> the Reichspact is. Oh my God! How buffed up is the Reichspact? What the heck? So the Russians have still made it here somehow. They're not dead. They've captured a port, so they're getting all sorts of supplies in. The Flanders Valoni has come. Flanders Valoni has come back. And, uh. Oh my god. What the hell? They were completely defeated, and they decided to invade middle of the British Isles. 
Um, besides, uh, well, with the Commune of France, I mean, I'm going to reorganize territory eventually anyways. I really didn't do very much with the Commune of France, so I'm just going to give that to Germany for the most part. It'll make Germany even stronger, yes, I understand, but they did do everything. Pretty much, them and their allies, so. Ger and even though we don't like the French, or any really any of the French, I have territorial goals in Spain. And something tells me we'll be back here in France before the end of this campaign. Um, yeah, looks pretty good. Oh, shh. Oh god, hold on, we gotta reset this. Oh, here comes the bad part. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Ugh. Alright, is that enough to give just stuff to Germany? Oh, there they are. German Empire, how much... Uh... Can I give Germany? Oh, but I, I, uh, oh, I, oh, I got a lot of score, I see it now. Oh, they probably want to give... No, Roman D was still parts of Switzerland, that's fine. And that'll be German. Right? Yeah, the German Empire will get all of this. They can decide what they want to do. Since I don't really care for it. Good. Done. That was really nice and fast. Oh my god, Germany's a huge freaking juggernaut now. Uh, I'm going to ask for military access. That'd be good. Very nice. I do. I need to take out the Swiss, but the Germans will help me take out, take, take them out. I definitely want the coast of Spain, though. Go ahead, guys. Uh, the Germans, everyone else will be able to take take these guys out anyway. So, at least let's hope so. That'll be good. We definitely have to. Oh my God, Germany! You're absolute nastiness. I mean, th this is ridiculous. Flanders Valoni was completely defeated. They invaded Newcastle. They have port to get resources in. And they also invaded another port. Why is Flanders Valonia so good right now? What's going on? Uh, who's not giving me resources? Ah, uh, Sweden. God, Sweden, can you just, like, be okay and just, like, give me stuff? Like, I don't need everything. I just need a lot of things, that's all. Uh, all but you. Let's go ahead and strike. We want to keep everyone in here as much as we can. How many divisions are down here? 28. Well, this is a battle that's probably not going to go well for us. Uh, tanks, I hope you're ready for one heck of a long battle. Good. If we can take these guys out, we can encircle all these fellows up here. Oh, and Germany's probably releasing France or giving, you know, monarchist France back or whatever. Or they liberated the French Commune, okay. Or French Kingdom, not Commune, oh god, no, not another Commune. So they have the Reichspact under Francois III, the puppet of Germany, a little bit of manpower. They have released Brittany under Louis, Prince of Hesse, oh. He looks really young. He must be like 16, maybe? <laughs> Let's see, anything else? Oh, the Germans still have this territory because that's the Socialist Republic of Italy, yeah, the CSA. Not the CSA, but the Third International is dying so fast. This is just ridiculous. God. Uh, I definitely want Gibraltar. I have to have Gibraltar. If, even if it's just a small piece of territory from Spain. Because at this point, the Germans are just wrecking everyone. Just, it's ridiculous. As long as I get Gibraltar like Malaga or something. So that just so we have access. And I can formulate claims later on. Oh, and it's time. It is time for a few more boys. All right, thank you very much. Uh, Sussex. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll keep building up the ports just in case. And definitely more civilian factories. There's only 200 sums, not a whole bunch. We're still at the same number here. Throw another division in. So we, we've kicked out about five enemy divisions here. It's good. Good stuff. Oh, no. Oh, wait. What the... Where, where are you going? What the hell? Wait, go home! Get these guys back in the water! Oh my god. Don't lose. 
Why? Oh, why? It, why did you have to go around to get to Italy? Oh, they had to get around to go here. Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on here. We gotta ask for military access. Okay. That's good. Alright, that's good. That's good. Stay. Stay. Oh, uh, please, can we just... Can we do that? Just get out of the water. The waters aren't safe. I'm glad I caught this before anything really disastrous would have happened. Okay, that's not my combos. That's good. Uh, nice. Very good. Okay. God dang it, Germany. Oof. They, we, well, almost made an oopsie. Almost made an oopsie. You're still fighting. That's not good. Uh, what about you? You, you guys are going to stay. But let you guys help fight it out there. How much manpower does Switzerland have left? Yeah, if we can, maybe we'll divide up... Oh, they don't have that much manpower left. But maybe we can divide up Switzerland, such as, like... Uh, I know Vorlberg is going to be ours, of course. It's still ours. But, like, for my Socialist Republic... Socialist Republic, no. No. For my Italian Republic. You look at a piece of Switzerland. It depends on what Germany wants to do, I suppose. Oh, and we're still fighting the battle. We are still doing well. The tanks have, since then, retired somewhat. But they're going to be thrown right back in. Against 14 divisions. Half of what originally was there. Let me guess. Sweden. Lee, Sweden. Rubber? Nice, we need less rubber now. Awesome. Very good. Very nice. So how to get looking good. Uh sure, for now. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Russians. Absolute mad lads. You know what? If the Russians actually do well and the Union of Britain's actually going to be able to be capitulated. I'm thinking that I'll trade my territory or my Russian territory in the Union of Britain for a territory in Spain. I think that's a fair trade. I think it's a very fair trade. An absolute great fair trade. One of the f best trade deals in the history of ever. Oh, and there goes uh, Spanian people. All right, I did so much to help. Did so much. Switzerland's still a pain in the butt, though. Oh, Zerk is gone. That's good. You go ahead and just continue draining them. I mean, how much manpower does Ukraine have? I know they have a lot of boys if you go with Scrape from the Barrel, but... That's not bad, actually. A little less than half a million on extensive. It's not bad. Have we done it? Oh, oh, we did it! Oh my god, we did it! Go ahead and throw some boys in there. Throw them in the meat grinder. There are 18 divisions in the southern province, and Adirne particularly has 14. So that's like over 40 divisions. Holy cow! This will be the encirclement of a DNA. Oh, good God. And they're, they're, oh wow, that's a lot of divisions. I don't think I can actually break through there. Ooh, trying to break into Asia is going to be kind of tough. Oh, let's do that one next. Let's see, 1942 still. Good, we're done with logistics companies. Uh, I guess we'll do that next. Let's see what else is going on. Good. You guys, go ahead and repair. For now, you don't. I don't think they have very much to repair left anyway, so that'll be good. That'll be good. Who is left in the Third International that has to capitulate? Just the Union of Britain. Holy cow! Oh, oh this is disgusting. Sweden has invaded. Two Sicilies has invaded. Flanders, Valonia, Russia, of course. Wait, what the? Deutsche Mittel Africa has taken this. Up. What the hell are you doing, man? What are you doing? Oh my god, New England, I knew, uh, I, uh, this makes some, some sense, even though technically Ohio isn't considered part of New England, and neither is West Virginia, Mexico City has just fallen, uh, that doesn't make very much sense, that's part of the Midwest, technically, neither does this part, this is disgusting, <laughs> and they took Arkansas, what the heck, why did they take Arkansas, they're not part of New England, <gasps> what is going on? Oh my gosh. Yeah, the Anton's going to be super powerful. Uh, that's going to that's be a problem for us in the future. If we decide to go to war with them, which we might. I don't know yet. We might go to war with them, maybe not. At this point, they are looking very formidable. Oh, and the Swiss have capitulated. Awesome. 
Good job, guys. Good, good, good job. Go ahead and try to put him out of the misery. Third International, it's not looking good for you guys. Why am I talking like this? Oh, no. That's that's not a lot of manpower for... Yeah, Oswald Mosley, he never does that much in any of my Kaiserite games. He's always kind of useless, to be honest. I mean, I wish he could do maybe a little more, but I think the AI just doesn't know how to use him for some reason. They're like, oh, Fran the Communist France is getting attacked. Well, better start writing a book or something. I don't know. I don't know what Oswald, Oswald Mosley does. Never heard of him before. He's a crazy guy, but he doesn't ever seem to do very much. So, let's see. Good, good, good. Oh, God, all those divisions just gone. Good Lord. Come on, just, just, just one more. Just one more killing. Not killing, but in some defeat. Yes, good, good stuff. Come on. How many divisions? I got five. Uh, and they had five. Oh my gosh, that was good. That was so good. Oh, that's so tasty. Mwah. So good. So, uh, before I end the video, though, oh, they're good. They're gone. Thank God. That's mine and Germany's protection? Okay, whatever. Let's see. So we've got ugh, all these spare armies. Now I got an extra Ukrainian army. This is disgusting. Oh, oh, wow. If you didn't think the British Isles were multicultural enough today, just look at them now. Oof. Oof. That's a, that's a topic for another day. Probably tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, there's really not much else I can do right here. I mean, I suppose I could put some more divisions over here and we can strike into Asia, basically, next time. Uh, oh, God, come on, Switzerland. What am I paying you for? But with that in mind, I, before I end, like I said, I, before I end the episode, I want to see how close the Union of Britain is to capitulating. Uh, it's not that close. I don't want to end on the end though with, or I guess I don't want to begin the next video with us taking forever in the, the peace deal. So we might just extend the length of this video just because. I don't want the next video to start off with like a 10 minute long peace deal and trying to sort everything out between all the nations. That would be very disgusting, very, very much not fun. So I'm going to give it a little bit of extra time here and just kind of see, oh, what are we missing here? We need more tanks? We got, oh, I think we need more manpower. What are we waiting for? Current manpower is 91%. So that's okay. I don't want to attack just yet without enough manpower. Oh, we're getting invaded. I just hope that the Entente doesn't go to war with me personally. I do hope that they do go to war with the Reichspact once the Union of Britain is fully defeated, which they are getting closer to capitulation with every day. Every day that passes. 64, 163. Uh, yeah, we definitely needed all that manpower. Ooh, we were. Oh, and there goes London. Who has London in Flemish Walloon hands? The British defeat is inevitable. Wow. I don't think I would have ever said that in the history of this channel. But you know what? I probably said that before. Uh, let's see. What happens if we do this? They have 16 divisions. They're getting shelled, and they have level 2 land forts. Would it be possible to invade? No. This is going to be one tough cookie to crack. One tough nut to crack, at least. Uh, I don't have any manpower. I can't do very much, so we pretty much are just waiting for the capitulation of the... Uh, Union of Britain. Oh! Ooh, Sydney! What? Let's send the tanks down this way. Maybe we'll have better luck this way. Oh, it doesn't look like we will. Oh, no. It looks like we're seriously going to have to invade somewhere else. Maybe over here, actually. Okay, so this is where I wanted to end the video, just so that I can do the peace deal and I don't have to waste your guys' time to see or how long it'll take. So, With that in mind, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. We did, uh, actually, a whole bunch in this video. We took out... European Ottoman territory, which is great for us. Uh, basically, the Third International is dead at this point. I mean, obviously they are with the Treaty of Bern. Uh, the Co Commune of France has capitulated. They are now ruled by Kingdom under Germany, and it's setting up to be an extremely, extremely weird three to four uh, way, maybe even five way faction war, Cold War type of deal. I hope the Germans don't get any ideas about attacking. But, regardless, hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new here, and I will see you tomorrow as you will see how the world will look after all I do all of this. Thank you very much for watching.